everyone welcome to the daily life project channel and today we got some cool updates and some cool things going on so um, right now I'm going to show you how the other parts of the machine are going we got the primer on them okay and now we have to get the paint on it as well and then we're going to get the wood planks ready for the chicken palace chicken palace one cover with primer looking good another cover with primer as well and we got the box also painted from the previous video it has stickers on it and everything else this is all primer so next we're going to go for the paints and now we're going to pass to the staple gun and get the wood planks for the chickens okay so i'm going to do it with one hand because i'm strong <laughs> and you see that's inside right there. Just gonna cut the board. Okie dokie. Like that, no one can get hurt. Okay, so I'm also going to put uh, white glue, special for work, working on wood, okay, uh, for cold weather and hot weather. So if you buy glue, make sure it's for cold weather and hot weather, okay, for exterior work as well. Uh, it's just to make sure that it all stays in place correctly. Uh, the glue will help, okay, a lot. So I'm not going to put... Um, wood frame on this part because the other plank is going to fit on top here okay okay and we're also going to boot for extra security we're going to boot some screws on the big ones and screws on the on the on the shorter ones okay just to make extra sure that um, everything stays in place right. so that's why we got staples glue and screws okay like that it's uh, chicken proof <laughs> So it's just so easy. You can just drill the screw right into the wood. But I always like to make a hole because like that it doesn't um, pull this one away from the other parts at the bottom. So it's going to go just like that, okay? So that's the whole idea. Okay, okay so I've got to get some more material for the workshop. The other updates projects, the chicken palace, and everything else. <laughs> so many ideas. Um, so last time I was driving the the Citroen Saxo, the road was uh, was a bit rough, so too noisy. So I decided today uh, I'll just take the Citroen Saxo to do the errands and uh, show you how the car really drives. Okay. Okay. So. We have to do some errands. Uh, we've got to get some material for all the projects. And uh, last time on the Suchet Saxo when we drove, the road was um, too noisy, too bumpy. So I decided to bring the Suchet Saxo to do the errands and um, show you guys how it really drives. Okay? Uh, this is a smooth road, very cool road. Um, so this one out and let's get right to it. <laughs> Oh, how 
well how sideways the bike is going uh, and for this car it's like riding a bike it just feels nothing so I'm just going to turn around So got the lid painted, all the panels of the machine. We got the other one as well, which I don't know where I put it. <laughs> so next is to then um, show when this is mounted on the machine, you'll see the big difference. Okay, so the machine is um, almost finished as well. You guys saw already the covers. I already changed these as I said I was. This is PTFE. Or Teflon with the uh, fiberglass so because it's going to pass high tension high voltage yeah so it has to be a good insulator that's why there's just a ceramic right here and um, we got all our pneumatic systems in this is a temporary amp meter we're going to use because I still have to make a plan for the original one that is in very bad condition. So let's see what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I already showed you guys this. We got our pedal in place. We got our welding button. Then we're gonna put an emergency button as well because all machines have to have them. And um, 
And I'll just show you guys. So this is gonna go up and down, suppress. Nothing too fancy, nothing too complicated. It's the operation. With this pedal, you can stop it wherever you want it. Okay. Um, so all we need is a emergency button, other safety measurements we're also going to take for the machine and uh, we need the covers the lid that's just so painted already and I think that's it so. and then we'll show you guys what this does okay got already the electric part is already all working this is for this is a filter for the radio frequency so that it doesn't go back into the supply cable um, so we have here it's a, a filter for the frequency that we're going to use for this machine to weld the plastics and leather and all the materials that can weld um, this is going to be a, this is already a heated plate so this heats up that's why there's a thermometer because for certain materials we need heat and radio frequency okay so oh when it's starts welding when i show you guys how it welds and everything else then you guys will understand uh, how it works and exactly what it does just basic um, press closes press the button starts welding has the timer timer switches off everything is off and just let it go up so um the secret is the radio frequency that's how all the magic starts okay and that anti-spark system that I talked about is so that we have a, a system that the, all these most of all the machines come with is that um, it's like imagine you welding with a machine okay against a piece of steel or stainless steel whatever and uh, you want it so that if it touches ground which in that case you don't because that's how it works but in this case we don't want it to do a spark or else it damages the the mold and the electrodes that have sometimes like blades and very sophisticated and very expensive so as soon as it detects ground everything switches off okay like i'll show you now once it starts welding he'll touch the ground and it just switches off you see so like that it protects as well the tooling of the clients or else then the clients will always complain like ish it's not worth it <laughs> okay so that's basically the machine it's looking good once it's got the covers and everything then we'll do like a little montage to celebrate okay of course we used to doing big machines and everything but it's a fun project a vintage old machine to recycle instead of going to the the um, the scrap and uh, just polluting more by throwing everything into the dustbin okay so we have our hay we have our chicken food and uh, we're going to take it to the chicken palace and um, prepare the food bowl hang it up so that she can um, start using it okay and uh, show you guys a little update which I can already show maybe it's easier <laughs> here you go white stone here just like we planned finishing there where I'm gonna put a bit of cement just to contain it right there make a little barrier um, this was all the garbage that was scattered around here it's funny how when it's scattered around you don't even notice how much garbage you can join in one spot <laughs> so um, we got to put that all away and um, it got a little bit of sand, but this will clear off now. We got the grape plants, also covered with the little stones. Looks more pretty like that. And we put already the um, the wires, as you can see, one wire, two wire, like that. Now they can start growing. You see, I also hang this little wire. This is just temporary. It's just to straighten her up so that she can start climbing through the wire and uh, come up here to the top or to the bottom wire, you know. This one's still a bit small. 
uh, once they start growing, we'll also help it to come up here. The rest, we got all the white stone over on that side as well. It's all complete. I shouldn't be walking on the white stone. Um, don't tell anyone. <laughs> so he has all the white stone already complete. So everything's completed. Okay, so it's looking very nice. Um, just there, I'm still not sure what to do over there. Because I'm going to put there the keep all the wood for the winter. But I don't know if I, I should put cement there. I don't know if I should put white stones. Maybe uh, sheets of metal. If you guys have ideas how to keep the wood in the best way. In terms of vegetables, all is good, all is well. Um, I believe we'll be eating one of these this week. And uh, our first, look, first raspberry. How cool is that? Let me take the glove off because it's kind of dirty, the glove. Oh, that's beauty. So this one we're going to pick it and eat it today. <laughs> and uh, we got more, the blackberries, but they still need a little bit longer. The beans are growing again. Something stopped eating them. And uh, everything is good. Everything is good. Okay, so I'm not going to keep here too long. Because uh, we'll do some more things when I come to this. Uh, right now we're going to take care of the chicken and um, that's the plan <laughs> so Sasha of course came after us because there's food hey Sasha <laughs> so um, this is the all the reference of minerals fiber vitamins that this type of food has so this proper for chickens that lay eggs okay and um, it's got all the, the ingredients the right ingredients that they need to lay good um, eggs it's even got oyster oyster shell yes because that has a lot of calcium it's very good so very good food okay let's open it up and um, put it in the food container as you can see it's got a big mixture okay that's that's not so at all no <laughs> it's not so at all okay okay little one oh <laughs> feisty okay let's go first the rest of the food you guys saw the food right <laughs> so food container is off the ground there's a lot of presents over there <laughs> sorry for that guys and um it's off the ground so i just leave left the adjustable knots on it so that we can just shift it from side to side just push this and it gets loose so you pull it down and it stays stuck okay and the lid i just leave this out so that it will hold the lid for me because when you're doing it like persons alone you know and you're trying to do everything just the knot will hold on the lid you see and then we can just with the scoops put the food inside so now we just need to install the water and uh, we're gonna put the hay right now okay they're uh, just gonna clean up the the bedroom you guys noticed we have the wood planks in place so you see the blocks we can move it wherever we want we can put another block now I have to study see how it goes I just wanted to curve a little bit and then we'll put I think I'll put another block so this one and the other one will always be loose so that we can just move them around and easier to clean um, on in her bedroom in her bedroom in her bedroom we also have the two wood planks that we were doing uh, in the workshop as you can see uh, we just fitted that one so that it could come on top and then the anti-skip wood bars um, finish one finishes here and the other one just right on top just touching so that everything is sturdy uh, but not too tight so that if it swells up you know it doesn't like stop breaking so it's very sturdy all good it's another cement block 
down there i don't know if you guys can see um this one is also movable this one this is the only one that's movable so that we can place it wherever we want so yes i think these are these are good accommodations the wood will be warm in winter it will also be nice for the summer because it's not so hot as the cement and now we just have to put the hay on top um and i think it's good to go all we're gonna need now is the water installation so this is all done and now we have to work on the other little upgrades like the um, the curtains over there and uh oh just wait a minute i didn't make sure if this was on tight so S sorry guys always make sure that it's all in place before you put the food don't do the mistake like i did <laughs> rest is all going to fall down okay we just have to put some cement here just to keep this all in place do the big curtain do the small curtain and what do you guys think is this enough for them you think this is all good for the chickens if you guys have any comments um yeah, they are all welcome we're going to put the hay now i'm also going to cover with cement the outside of this um, sheet right here the sheets don't worry it never gets direct sun so it's never hot the sheets okay um i really thought about this before i did this at the time um now let's um put some more hay on that side there okay so the hay is in place she can make her nest the way she wants to now and uh, all is good this is short i mean she can jump this easy because she jumps to the top of the roof isn't it yes she jumps to the top of this roof as you can see her marks right there <laughs> little presents so um, that's very easy we aren't thinking of having chickies having little chicks in the beginning uh, we're still studying that and um, you like your food bowl don't you <laughs> yep she's enjoying that okay it's much more hygienic hey and easier hey you don't have to put your head so down and she's got the hay there for during the day if she wants to be outside so she's got everything for now i'm happy she looks happy and uh, we really need to give her some friends still having a bit of struggle with that but the lord will provide with a plan okay so chicken palace almost done Okay, and we have already two plums that are ready and we have to take the raspberry that's on the other side mm -hmm. so one plum let the feast uh, begin and our first raspberry so i'm just going to give it a little twist to not hurt the other ones oh yes got it that's a beauty I also need a haircut, that's for sure. It's looking quite big now. <laughs> so, um, stay tuned, guys, okay, for all these follow ups. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. And uh, I'm just going to keep on doing always my best to get the best quality, the best content, and uh, the best for you guys, okay? You guys deserve the best. So thank you very much for your support and um, with that I am out and see you on the next one. Normally I say see you on the next one and then out.